Let's talk about Compute application in this video. Compute application is a multi-core application or multi-thread applications. They are different things. Multi-core means that uh, in a CPU we have multiple cores and all of these cores may do the same thing in the application. And multi-thread means in the same CPU core uh, there are different programming units and they are processing the data in parallel, okay, synchronously. And we use fork join for multi-core applications and we use thread, thread pool and executors for developing a multi-thread. Why we use uh, fork join? Because we need to distribute a common uh, process to multiple cores of the CPU so that uh, multiple cores of the CPU may process multiple parts of the data we may shorten the time for processing this data let's say if a task lasts for uh, 20 seconds it may drop to 4 seconds with uh, 5 or 6 cores okay that's why we are leveraging multi-core uh, applications also big data applications are leveraging multiple cpu cores by using mapreduce framework mapreduce is a great framework developed with google and had a great importance uh, over the years and its basic structure is like this uh, let's say we have terabytes of data here and processing these terabytes of data inside in only one CPU core may last forever but if we divide this task into multiple CPU cores the time will be divided by approximately 5 if you have 5 CPU cores that's why we divide the big data into smaller chunks and these chunks are sent to different programming units and these programming units are uh, running on different CPU cores and this process is called as mapping and the result of this mapping process is an intermediate result this intermediate result is combined by some reducer functions and they yield some uh, simple results so we are trying to shorten the process time by leveraging uh, multiple CPU cores or multiple computer CPUs in a network that's why we are using functional programming because uh, it is so critical to protect the data of uh, a programming unit from the other programming units if the programming unit here uh, changes any state inside here uh, some unexpected behaviors may uh, arise okay uh, so immutability is so important here immutability uh, is the core of functional programming and that's why we are using functional programming in mutable objects for resolving big data problems and that's why MapReduce frameworks uh, are using uh, functional programming that's why Scala had a great success for resolving big data problems so to summarize it we have a we have a big data here and we divide them into chunks each chunk is uh, mapped to a programming unit a function and each function yields a result without a side effect without changing any value and the yielded result uh, is combined by a combinator to yield a single result that is the principle of MapReduce and this approach is really proper to functional programming in the next video I will explain uh, the differences between object-oriented programming and functional programming